It's time! All right, coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight showdown. 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. So two years, the gap in age, with big differences in height, but some differences in reach. We set it inside Ladies the octagon here is Bruce Buffer. This is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Bergliata. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. If you just watch, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of Amsterdam, the Netherlands, Mad Intention. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee. All right, the rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times, and a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, about your hands, my fight. You ready? You ready? All right, so here we go with the start of round one. I can tell how excited you are for this matchup. Seems to be a slight advantage on one side, but maybe not. This is a big time fight. It feels like a big moment for both of these guys' careers. Who is going to be able to implement their game plan the best in this matchup between these two big time athletes? All right, early round one, we'll see if he can use that jab and try to keep his opponent on the outside. Must be nice for these long fighters, huh? I mean, they are able to touch you as you try to enter into range. Tonight, he needs to use his jab, use his kicks to hit his opponent before his opponent can get into range to even start to think about striking. Just unable to quite find that range. Wind it up on the right there to no avail. Big ball punch land. Now we get back to range. So there it is. Longer reach paying dividends as he counters with a punch. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the cut. Just misses with the straight right. He blocks the punch. He is throwing a fast, straight, hard jab. That's not a feeler jab. That's one that's really knocking the head back. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. And to watch his punch, I just put a smile on my face. Nice placement there on the left hook counter. Lee gets touched by that kick to the body. Three minutes remain in the round. Ooh, head kick lands was hurt. Just out of range with that strike. Alright, you're okay, you're okay. Let's focus. Let's focus now. Oh, that straight punch was useful, champ. Multiple times he's used this punch to get to the target. Beautifully timed and place kick there by Lee.
Trey Wright is there. Whoa! What a oh! oh, man. This ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is the opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this space to land these beautiful ground and pound. Punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Right hand upstairs. Oh, yeah. Just misses with the jab there. Oh, really using his reach advantage as he landed the jab there. Lee's kick to the body, that one blocked. Real quick leg kick. Oh, man, that's a nice kick right there. He's doing a great job of landing that kick over and over again. Oh, Superman punch. Great punch. All right, he engaged in a single collar tie. It's okay, keep going. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Oh, he gets the takedown late in the round here. That's a way to leave an impression on the judges, and big picture, I think, could set him up for future success in the next round. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Outstanding ground and pound here. Somewhat of a lost art in MMA, at least in terms of making sure that every strike counts. Not an issue for him. He's making every single one of them count. He is not pity pad. He's not touching. Every punch that lands, he wants you to feel it. All right, let's get you a replay from that previous round. It was the big knockdown courtesy of that kick that, that nearly closed the show for good. It almost closed the show, but nothing's more discouraging than when you get somebody hurt that bad and you don't shut the door. He has to go back to work now knowing that he's got about as tough a guy as, if, as he's ever had in front of him in the octagon tonight. You ready? You ready? All right, round two. He has a commitment to kick it tonight and it shows. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Nice job to land a knee to the body. Man, I wish I was that tall. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Oh, and he lands another knee there, DC. It doesn't always pay to be the taller fighter. In this instance, it most certainly did. Oh, big knee! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Well, he's doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tucked, the hands are high. Pretty good job defensively thus far. Great job defensively. He's seeing everything coming. Well, you saw the tail of the tape. He has a reach advantage and made good use of it there with that punch. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, hey. if you're going to sit there at the drive through order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand, jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut. That is your soda. I mean, come on, man. Let this guy have the whole thing. Nice kick. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Lee gets it. That one appeared to stun him. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Big head kick lands. Big 
Roundhouse now just misses. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one. Oh! oh he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. He went high on that one. Lee goes for the clinch here, and this is just a means by which to recover. He is stunned. Oh! What a right hand! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do next. He's going to start looking to land big shots from the top. Oh! Yeah, he's fixed it all up. Effective punch there by Lee. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Both fighters throwing heat now. Big kick land. Oh, nice job landing the knee there. He's got a lot of size for this division and put it to good use there. Lee's head kick is blocked. No damage there. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Oh, caught him flush with the head kick there, DC. Beautiful setup to get his leg up there quickly for his opponent to react. Oh, and he caught the kick. <laughs> Trying to do damage now with the kick. That's a miss. He's got the hooks in DC working off of his back. Now look for him to attack the neck of his opponent to try to get the rear choke. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. 15 seconds to go. Oh, wow, that happened quickly as the fighter reverses position there on the ground. Unbelievable position change. Wow, what a transition. Oh man, head kick lands. Great right on my face. Well, I'm not sure the extent to which he has recovered, but we do see the end of the round. DC, talk us through the replay. Well, he's a tough guy. He's going to make it to the stool. He's going to survive unless you put him completely out of there. Unfortunately, he's in there with a guy that does have that ability. You ready? You ready? Let's go, fight. Able to check that kick as well. Yes, they heard him in the last round. Same exact one. Oh, that's oh. Nice. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Don't finish this fight. Oh. Back to the feet. Well, we talked about that reach advantage as you see him land the straight punch. Wow! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Misses with the left hook. All right, he engages in a single oh, power. Oh, he's out! Don't worry. Oh, my goodness. What a performance. Yeah, there's another one for the highlight reel, and that's probably as good a knockout as he's had in the UFC. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Crowd absolutely loving it. Flush land to close out his opponent. I'm not even sure the other fighter saw it coming. So a big knockout for him here tonight on the biggest of stages. Well, he's going to enjoy watching.
watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. So a huge result and a seminal moment for him here tonight as he gets the big knockout win. That could hold up as one of the better KOs of the year. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliante has called a stop to this contest at 55 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout and intention. Well, we congratulate him on a huge knockout here tonight. He'll probably keep that smile while he's sleeping tonight after what he was able to produce here. He's going to be smiling for a really long time. When you get a knockout like that, not only do you get the win, you also most times walk away with a $50,000 bonus check.